I grew up in a small college town in the Arkansas Ozarks. Back then, preservation was not a thing. By the time I started Interactive Resources, I had worked for three or four other firms. And I guess back then, maybe I was a little young and foolish, but I just thought I could do a better job. I decided to start my own firm. We've been in business now for 51 years. I ended up in Richmond totally by accident. My wife Shirley was just starting UC Berkeley. At that time, the city of Richmond was really in a funk. During World War II, it had been the home of the largest shipyards in the world. After the shipyards closed down, the population dropped by about a third. One thing I realized is that there was a wealth of historic resources. When I first got involved in historic preservation in Richmond, I started touting it as an economic recovery tool. In the 1960s, the Coast Guard was automating all their lighthouses and basically abandoning them. East Brother was one of those, and it was actually slated for destruction. So we started a nonprofit and we got the Coast Guard to license it to us. We opened it as a bed and breakfast inn, which has provided revenue to maintain it for all these years. We're now like, what, our 45th year. It really started a new movement in the Coast Guard and enabled hundreds of lighthouses across the country to be rehabilitated. I ran for city council, was elected in 1995. I served for 28 years and was elected mayor in the last eight of those years. I was able to create a preservation program in Richmond that never existed before. I wrote the city's preservation ordinance. I was able to get the city to actually pay to put a number of buildings on the National Register. Being in political office is a powerful preservation tool. What is now the Rosie the River World War II Homefront National Historical Park started out very modestly. The National Park Service got interested in Richmond and determined preliminarily that it would be the best location in the United States to have a National Historical Park that commemorated and interpreted the World War II Homefront. Next year will be its 25th anniversary. I'm still on the board of Rosie the River Trust, which has become a, a million dollar a year nonprofit. The one thing that stands out and that I find rewarding about uh, about what I've done in preservation over the years is seeing these restored buildings serving a productive function. Most of them have created multiple jobs, they've created economic opportunity, they've paid taxes, and they bring joy to the people who work in them and visit them, knowing that almost all of them at one time or another were just days away from the wrecking ball. Now they've become some of the most recognizable resources in, in the communities they're in. My name is Tom Butt. I'm an architect. I live in Richmond, California, and I've spent a lifetime working in the historic preservation field.